Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? Just want to come in here and uh, talk about my journey to start my business, which I had no intentions of starting. Um, we moved, we bought some property, came back and built a house, and then once we built a house, once once we bought the property, we had about two acres cleared off, and I just had them push it all back in a pile, and I just deal with it later. Um, so when later came, it was time to deal with it. It was. I got an estimate of like maybe eight thousand for them to have them to come remove it off the property. I just couldn't pay eight thousand to to do it, so I said I just go buy me a chainsaw and I cut it up and burn it. So I went and bought a chainsaw, start cutting it up, but it was just hard to move the pieces after I cut them. So after a while of trying to do that, I went and bought a sixteen oh one D Yamaha tractor. Great tractor. Cause I just bought that to work around the yard with, you know, kind of smooth out rough spots because I had a box blade to go with it. And I just cut up some of the um some of the trees, keep them pushing to a pile, and I just kept them burning that way. That worked it worked pretty good. So like I said, as time went on, I kept using the tractor around the yard, smoothing it out, um, cutting five breaks, just kind of getting familiar because that was my first tractor I ever owned, never owned a tractor before in my life. So it's like a little small twenty uh twenty horsepower tractor. So then my brother bought a house, um, bought some property, and he had, had it cleared off as well. So in his yard, he had like a lot of sticks, a lot of roots. Um, just need to be really just regraded so he could get grass growing. So with his yard, I kind of did some regrading for him. Um, got a lot of sticks up, a lot of roots up. I had a, a, a little small landscaping rake that I would put to the back, uh, hook up to the back of the tractor and, you know, kind of drag it a little bit. So as time went on, and I kept working around our yards with it, kind of got a little better with it. I said, you know, kind of thought about it. You know, maybe I should make some money. I mean, the tractor's paid for, so I mean. So like I said, as time went on, you know, I kind of started to kind of advertise a little bit, you know, put myself out there, you know, took on little small jobs, you know, most of them just to get the pictures and photos, wasn't really to make money out of it at that point in time. I mean, I charged a little something over gas and time, but not to really be really profitable, just to try to get my foot, my feet wet. So, start doing that. Started to grow. Started to click a little bit. So, okay, maybe you know, I can do this. I said, I'm not. And it's not anything I'm doing, I'm doing full time right now. I, I have an actual full time job where I work at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center as an instructor for um, Department of Community Supervision. So, I'm an officer full time, an instructor. So I don't. This is what I do. Um, in the evening times on the weekend, so it's been a process, but this is kind of how the process went. So that's when I came up with the name Tease Tractor Service. Um, so primarily, I will be doing uh, grading. Uh, uh, you got like storm comes through and knocks some trees down, come remove trees, uh, bush hogging. I picked up a, a old bush hog for like two hundred fifty bucks. There's nothing wrong with it, so. So at that point in time, I had the Yanmar 1601D, the five foot box blade, and a bush hog. So those were my primary what I was doing. Um, so started doing jobs using that tractor, and as time went on, uh, the older tractor kind of started to wear out a little bit, which I, I expected. Um, it was an older tractor. Uh, if I had just kind of kept using it around the house, it probably would have never had an issue. But um, so time went on, and the clutch went out on it. I'm not mechanically inclined, so as far as diesel, uh, diesel tractors and stuff like that, so it's gonna cost me two grand to get the clutch re clutch replaced. Uh, the clutch itself was maybe a hundred bucks. It was just a process to break the tractor into two pieces and then to um, go through each of those small little parts and get them replaced. So, thought about it. I was like, uh, I guess I can sell it, you know, I've gotten all my money out of it from working around the house and you know doing ends and odds, odds and end jobs from it. So I'll sell it for a thousand, you know, use that money towards my new tractor. So I went and started looking around, doing some research, and I found out about the Branson tractor. Um, so I went and got one of the Branson tractors. So I went up to Georgia Land Equipment in Cummins, Georgia. And brought the Branson 2400. Um, that's gonna fit in my price range and pretty much do everything that I need to do for as um, small job wise. 
Um, it's 24 horsepower tractor. I did a review on it on my page, uh, on my YouTube page. I did a 50 hour review and a 100 hour, 100 hour review. Um, so go check it out as well. But um, so yeah, I went, went and got that tractor and maybe, uh, maybe a month later, my first big job came up. Um, that's what I graded, click kind of graded and leveled maybe two, maybe two acres. And then I just kind of just took off from there. I mean, I, everything that I bought from here on in the business has been bought from that job. And I don't know, I, don't know, I haven't put any money from my full-time job into it. It's been all money throughout the business, which is kind of the goal of a business, right? So as I continue to do my tractor service, um, I would have people ask me, hey, do you uh, cut grass or do any kind of lawn service? I'm like, nah, right now I just do, you know, tractor work. Uh, of course, bush, bush hogging and grading and stuff like that. So I had a couple people ask me. Um, so I just kind of like thought about it like, I, you know, maybe there's a market for it. So I did like a survey on Facebook, you know, asking, you know, anybody looking for weekly or about weekly lawn care. I had one person take me up and say yes. So at that point in time, I had a 42 inch pole and lawnmower and I went and bought a Husher on a weed eater. Um, I didn't really need a blower or edge or anything like that because of the yard that he that, um, he had. It was a bunch of country yard, uh, about maybe, um, maybe almost an acre, not quite. So I just needed the lawnmower and weed eater for that. And that job pretty much paid for the gas and time. So uh, I started with one client for about two months. I just had that one client. Started taking pictures, um, posting pictures, continue to advertise, pass out business cards. And then I, from in three months, I grew from one client to where I am now, um, six, six, uh, 15 clients. So at that point in time, once I started doing the lawn care, I went ahead and renamed uh, my business because it used to be T's Tractor Service. So now it's T's Tractor and Lawn Services. So um, I said the growth's been good. Uh, reviews have been great. Um, the quality is great. I put, you know, every time into it because, like I said, it's my hobby, so I enjoy it. It's not work to me. Neither one of my jobs will work. So, um, just going to continue to grow. And like I said, my goal is 20 clients. I'm at 15. So, I'm almost at my goal. So, again, hopefully this video, you know, was some, you know, some inspiration or some help to somebody um, who's going you know, thinking about wanting to start a business. Um, again, do your research, um, see what's all in the area, you know, some potential clients, um, look at your equipment. Again, don't just jump out and get the biggest and baddest equipment. Again, equipment looks nice, but it's not doing you any good if it's just sitting in the yard. So, like I said, that's what I did when I bought what was in, within my budget, and I just went from there. So, uh, if you have any questions or I can be an assistance to you, just reach out to me on the channel. Again. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, have a nice one.